In 2010, Liberty National Architects Tom Kite and Bob Cup redesigned 15 of the 18 holes on the golf course. I think it's a good golf course. The changes that got made a couple of years ago have now settled in, and I think the course is better for that. The Barclays, which is on a rotating course schedule, was last played at Liberty National in 2009, a year that saw Heath Slocum make the top 125 and the tournament field by two FedEx Cup points. And on Sunday, Slocum found out the 18th hole can present plenty of challenges. Oh, oh. that wind is more off the right-hand yes. side. Wow, what a time to hit that middle bunker. In the redesign, the 18th tee box was extended and the fairway widened on the left side slightly to give the players, like Slocum, a larger area to land their tee shot. Forced to lay up, Slocum was tasked with trying to get up and down from 65 yards to win. Release. Oh, stays though, just above the ridge. This year, that ridge where Slocum's ball wound up would be the back of the green, as the entire green complex has been shifted 20 yards forward. The redesign shorted the hole slightly to now play 490 yards, but brings the rock wall along the right side more into the picture. Slocum did manage to convert his par putt and took home the title in 2009. Good stroke. Look at He's that. Slocum! Wow, what a putt! In 2013, Liberty National's closing hole looks to inject even more excitement to the FedEx Cup playoffs and keep the top 125 on their toes once again.